We are going to get back into the pool six. Next match we actually have coming on stream is going to be Nemo versus Julio. <laughs> <laughs> which is also going to be a JP mirror. Big shout-outs to Lord Venom, though. I feel like Lord Venom really yeah, pioneered yeah, yeah. a lot of JP tech, and I feel like that's kind of getting lost in the narrative because of the, the strong foundation of JPs coming out of Asia. And we're going to get another one right here from Japan. Nemo, well, I think a crowd favorite, honestly, in my oh, opinion, yeah. when it comes to oh, the FGC. Yeah. Going up against Julio. Yeah, we run in a JP mirror back. Don't <laughs> think we not. Don't think we not. By the way, I, I was really impressed with how much Rob TV was able to get Lord Venom to talk. Because if yeah. you watch SFL EU, I mean, Logan was definitely like pulling teeth there, <laughs> trying to get Lord Venom to have some sort of response more than yes. So shout out to Logan. I, 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 I respect your struggles. Shout out to Logan and F Word, by the way, two of the greatest to do it here on the desk. Oh, here we go. Perfect parry into the drive in. Impact. Yeah, I'm already setting up Shavia, bring the departure up, approach behind it. You already know, and I love that. Immediately the challenge one, with the yep. parry. And now he's just trying to burn him out at this point in time. So, Oh, dang. Okay, perfect parry on wake up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's go, Nemo. Oh, we're trying to swing with that stand every point. Really good usage of it. Always identifying we can kind of shave off that drive meter of the opponent. Oh, relying on the parry and the anti here. Yeah, I got to give him a bunch of hits. Such a good hitbox, but unfortunately gonna get caught by the dry rush from Nemo. Nemo taking round number one. Indeed, indeed. Right. <laughs> the full screen battle right here. Yeah, you can see right there, Nemo. You see, after he gets his ground spike blocked because he knows he's minus two, if Julio goes for another ground spike, he, that's why he's dry rushing in. I don't know what happened. Julio right there. He ended up getting punished out during the recovery of the parry. He just wasn't blocking. Oh, man. Again, this guy's got juggle for days. The mix up. Overhead, the mix of course. Up. Yeah, he went for the overhead. Level the, one's going to be The portal bog coming out. There it is. Yeah, boy. Nemo's a master. Mix up master, of course. And Julio jumping right back in there. No delay. No spending some time to think about it. Uh, this is what we talked about, though. I mean, the players from Japan, the players from Asia, they're going to be so well versed in the JP Mirror, especially compared to mm -hmm, other regions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, there's a reason why during all of Phenom's videos, oh. you know, all the Japanese players said JP was like at mm -hmm. least one or two. And then you see now he's abusing the spike, as you mentioned, and burnout plus two. He's more than willing oh. to get yeah, dry rushing under and getting the landing free punish on the other side. Nemo. He's doing whatever he wants and right you now. see him predicting the forward dash from Julio. Because again, like I said, once you block the, the ground spike, that's... Ooh, what? Just raw stream on? Okay. <laughs> Straight up after the throw tech. Know something we don't. Mm, here we go. Match point for Nemo. Uh, I'm so glad, like, decisions are immediately made after throw tech in this game. I was a little worried at first because of how far opponents are pushed, but people still got gambits all day. I mean, honestly, you know... One of the hardest things for me going from five to six was how far the moves reached in this game. <laughs> wow, he just woke up with a crouch medium kick, got rid of the departure because he got tagged by it. Good, he's getting tough. past, even crouching heavy much, stopping the potential cross up there. Gets the departure oh. out, but doesn't actually be able to teleport in time. Julio should be able to take this round. There we go. And with no meter spin, that's huge, right? He's close to a level three of his own. Obviously, Nemo got everything he wants to work with here. Ooh, beautiful perfect parry in response to the drive rush normal. Julio got to get it started, Ooh, but he the just wrong, the spike. Yeah, the wrong shoe glob right there. And yeah, look at that. Just being aware of the mirror right there and taking care of it. That was so unfortunate. It looked like he actually tried to check the drive rush with crouch medium punch. Maybe a little bit too early, or maybe the space that Nemo did his own at was just perfect. Either way, you're going to put Julio on life support when it comes to the drive gauge. Mm. Oh, nice. Caught the teleport. And got the punish counter. And you see Nemo just backing off right now. Yeah. And that's all right for Julio, especially when he catches him. Has the level three to combo into. Boy, Nemo, this is hurting, bro. Julio probably almost kind of wishes he had a tiny bit of health gone. Because that would have killed CA, but he's just going to drive rush through. Julio Fuentes on the board right here, tying it up. One to one. Love that. Not going quietly into the night whatsoever. And Nemo really ran over him in that first game. I thought this was going to be a quick yeah. set. Beautiful adjustment from Julio right there. And look at that. Finding that sweet spot on the jump to actually dodge the crouch heavy punch. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah, the departure was up, though. You have to respect. Okay, parries it. Oh, that's going to be a whip punch right there. Yeah, 
because he he thought he was uh, on the ground when he went for the two hits of the target combo. Oh, and again, he tried to check it, but that cane, it's so good. It's like the best drive rush check tool and the drive rush aggression tool. Yeah. Like, the disjointed hurt box, or excuse me, the hit box on it is wild. See, every time I see JP hit you with that couching strong, it makes me think of, like, the, 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 the teacher with the ruler, you know? It's just like... <laughs> Line, students, oh, you know. <laughs> man, JP teaching at a Catholic school. Exactly, exactly. I mean, they don't do that anymore, you know, obviously. They did in my childhood, yeah. but you know. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I love that he chose to use his jumping medium kick to make sure it reached. Corner block right here, not going to be enough to kill, but the corner pressure right here. But he's burned up and he checks Ooh. the driver. Ooh. Julio's at match point. No fear right there. Checking once again with the crouch medium kick. Oh, and just getting right in his face right there with the drive rush forward. Let's see Nemo. You can tell he's oh. feeling it a little bit now, but a perfect setup. Baited Julio into that whip, honestly, for the whip punish. And then he just activated the, the shadow manually. Look at this damage! Final game, final round here in this JP mirror. What did Nemo try and wake up? He like immediately got punished, countered by the spike. I couldn't even tell what it was either way. Nemo's looking very strong here now. Bouncing back, does get his drivers cut off by a ghost. And there's oh, the cross media punch yep. this time from Julio. Yeah, he gets it first. And wow, wake up buttons from Nemo. Not scared of the jump attack at all. Yeah, he tried the back throw. He wanted the screen advantage. Such good awareness from Julio to tech that. And then beats him to the punch on the drive run. Again. Can't do it to level three yet. Maybe he could have with a different combo route. He reaches, but he far, gets the landing free He's got the level three. He should be able to do it right here. Interdiction and Julio Fuentes is sending Nemo to loser's bracket. Wow, Julio. I believe most people are looking at that as a huge upset. My goodness, coming through and shutting down Nemo in the JP mirror. And we just talked about how it really feels like the players from Asia have an advantage in that right? set. Just because there's so many high-level JPs clustered in that area. But Julio, he bring a different flavor. And Nemo, who wasn't liking it. I need someone to Photoshop that JP wins. Just kill that one little block so it says JF wins. Because Julio Fuentes is moving on in the bracket on the winner's side here. So Nemo, if he wants to make it out of this pool, he's got to do it from the loser's side. Wow, man. Julio. Oh, wow. We actually had Mago versus Rickman's Barnett take place already. And Mago Whoa. defeated Rickman 2-1 wow. in that jury mirror. So Julio and Mago are going to have to go up against each other in an attempt or for the right to face Seo in winner's finals. Wow, oh dang, I would have really liked to have seen that jury mirror to see uh, how that would have gone. Also, just to see how far Recommends Barnett has grown since the Street Fighter League, you know. Yeah. Would have loved to see what that jury was capable of, so. Oh, Ultra David's still alive, by the way. He's still in Ah, bracket. let's go, let's go. We had to check in on our commentary brethren, of course, but yeah, man. We saw Julio really just bounce back from that first game loss. Uh, Nemo dominated that first game, man. But Julio really came out. He tried. He dug deep in that game three. Nemo did to get that perfect in the second round. But in round three, everything just went Julio's way, and he was able to thwart everything he tried. Yeah, absolutely. So good job to Julio Fuentes.